Hello everyone, Terrence Williams here from Terrence Williams Designs. I'm back with another video. I'm really excited about this video because as a small business owner myself, I know how important it is to support and highlight other small businesses. So when I found out that there was an African fabric store or fabric shop near my house, like literally 15 minutes away, I had to go and support and I had to go and buy a bunch of fabric. <laughs> so the name of the fabric store is um, Zesty Couture or African Zesty Couture. It is run by Grace out of her home. And when you walk in, you just see this wall of fabric. All of these different prints and colors and patterns. If you love African prints, she has literally something for you. Literally something for everyone. Whether you are a neutral girly or a colorful girly, are you like subtle prints or more bold prints? She has something for everyone. What makes Zesty Couture different than other African fabric stores is she has a vendor from her home in Nigeria and Grace, the owner, actually goes through and picks out each fabric. So it's not like she is just buying from bulk and then whatever is shipped to her is shipped to her. No, she curates every collection that comes over so she is in touch with everything, the whole process along the way. So they have African print fabrics, Ankara. She even has hand dyed petite badik fabrics. So <clears throat> a little bit of everything. She also does clothing. So she makes dresses and bonnets and hats and she does dusters and tops and there's just so much that she does. She also does fabric scrap bags. So the fabric scraps are like two yards or less of fabric. We wouldn't technically call them scraps, but she calls them scraps. They're pretty big pieces of fabric. And she shoves them on and stuffs them all in a bag and sells them for, I think it's like $35 for a bag. And her prices are, are I think, 24 I forget what the price is. I'll leave everything in the description. You know how bad I am <laughs> with prices. But uh, the it's six yards of fabric, and the six yards is $35. You can order online from her website or you can order from her Etsy. So I will link all of that in the description. But in this video, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got. I didn't go too crazy. I didn't go go too overboard, but I did pick up a few pieces and I just wanted to show them to you in this video. And yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So the first few pieces of fabric that I'm going to show you are what are considered scrap pieces of fabric. So they're not the full six yards of fabric. They're less than that. But I was still drawn to them and I knew that I could still do something with the pieces. So this is the first piece. It is this purple, purplish, bluish fabric. And it has these black and cream stars uh, for a border and then this is the opposite side this triangle and star border here i just thought it was so pretty and when i saw it i knew that i definitely needed it so i picked up this fabric and i was actually able to get about two different pieces of it so i have this piece here and then I have another piece here. It is the exact same kind of cotton print. Not sure what I'm going to be making with this fabric and all these pieces, but something always eventually comes to me. So we'll work it out. We'll figure it out together. <laughs> this next piece of fabric is similar to another piece of fabric that I picked up, but I just thought it was so cool. It has these lion heads that are like roaring on it. 
so this is what the fabric looks like it's a pretty big piece again i think it's about two yards of fabric I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I just thought it was really unique and really different. So I did decide to pick it up. And again, not quite sure what I'm gonna make with it. I think I'm leaning towards a top like this in this fabric. I think it would be really cute, but still deciding. The last piece of scrap fabric is this really colorful one. If you don't know me, <laughs> you should know that I love color. I love prints. I love patterns. If you can't, if you, you'll probably be able to tell by looking at the other stuff in this collection. But this one, I was like, yeah, this is so cool. So cool. So colorful. It is just so fun and kind of psychedelic. I don't know. I love it. I love it. This is what it looks like opened up. So many ideas. So many possibilities for this one. I was so excited when I saw it. Had to have it. So those were all the scrap pieces. Now let's get into the full six yard pieces. The first one is probably the most colorful one. It is this geometric, really loud, colorful print. Of course, when I saw this, I said, yes, 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 I have to have it. So this is what it looks like. So much color. This one is probably, out of all the prints that I got, I think this one is my favorite. And with six yards, there's so much that I can do with it. So many possibilities with this fabric. The next one is similar to one that I showed you before with the lion heads, except it's the cream background. It has a green background. I just think this print is so fierce and bold. It's nothing that I have in my collection. Not something that I would normally be drawn, drawn to, but I wanted to, something that was just out of my comfort zone and something that was a little different. So not quite sure what I have in store for this, just like all the rest of them, but I just thought it was so fun. I got this next one because it reminded me of the traditional kente cloth at, that I saw when I was studying abroad in Ghana. I really loved the yellows and the colorways of this one and the greens and the black. I just thought it was so, when you think of kind of traditional African prints, no matter how stereotypical that might be, I feel like this is a print that really resonates and comes to people's minds. So I saw it and I loved it, so I grabbed it. One thing that I love is florals. I love me some florals. So when I saw this daisies, this daisy one, it was a wrap. I knew I had to have it. It is just so pretty with the green. Green isn't really a color that I wear typically all the time, which is surprising because I feel like, I don't know. I feel like I look good in it, but I saw this and just thought it was so pretty and decided to grab it. Because again, I love, love, love a good floral. And I love how some of the daisies have different colors. Like this one, the ones here, they have uh, little purple leaves and the or bright orange center. I just thought it was so pretty. So this is this one. And then we have two left. This one is very loud, very bold tigers <laughs> this is another print that i've never seen before but i just thought it was so different and so my personality so it has tigers and tiger print all over it look at it isn't this so bold <laughs> it's like just enough but just a little too much. <laughs> uh, 
So it has tiger heads on it. They're kind of growling and gnarling at each other and then they're within circles and there's kind of flowers and there is leopard print or uh, tiger print or leopard print in the back. It's just a big mix of everything but I love how bright the yellow is. It's kind of like this neon yellow. I don't know there was just something about this print that popped out to me that just seemed so fun. And then the last print is another floral print. This one is really pretty. It is like this light blue with this very pretty yellow and navy blue background. It's a floral print, but more modern and fun. And I love the stripes in the background. It's very bright, very bold, very much my personality. I just thought the colors were so pretty. So this will be fun to create something with. Not sure what yet, but I really love the colors. And that is it. That is my fabric haul from Zesty Couture. Make sure if you are in the Dallas area to check her out. I love her shop. You enter through the side door and she will let you in it's attached to the back of her house and it's just beautiful you shop there pay there everything it was really quick easy and convenient really easy to find if you're not in the dallas area she does have a um etsy and she does have a website all of the fabric is on her website so if you follow her on tiktok or instagram or any social media i'll link all that below and you see a fabric that you like you can you can go to her etsy and it will be on there if you are on tiktok which is how i found her through black sewing network she does go live almost every day and she will show the fabric during her live she'll hold it up open it up kind of like what I was doing and show you what's in her collection and you can always screenshot it and send it to her and she'll set everything to the side and and send you links for stuff on her Etsy so you're able to purchase it so she makes it really easy and convenient to shop with her which I absolutely love and yeah I'll leave all of her website information at the bottom and that is my fabric haul, and I will see y'all in the next one. And make sure you shop small and support small businesses. And if you are new here, welcome. My name is Terrence Williams. I run my small business, Terrence Williams Designs, where I create and sew ethically sourced and sustainably produce clothing and accessories that is genderless and size inclusive. And I will leave my website linked in the bottom. See y'all in the next one.